What's good, YouTube? Um, this message is for anybody that need to hear this. For anybody that need to hear this. Don't let somebody else's success make you feel like you ain't nothing. Say that again. Do not let nobody else's success make you feel like you are not doing nothing. First of all, their life is their life. Their life is their life. It has nothing to do with you. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. Can you change things? You could tweak it up a little bit, but whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Shoot for the stars, no matter what you want to do. Shoot for the stars. You could do whatever, be whatever you want to be. This is the United States. It might take a little longer for you to get to where you want to be, but you will get there. Yes, you will get there. Do not let somebody else's success make you think that you are nothing and that you are not doing anything at all. You will get the things that you want in life. You will be who and what you want to be. Do things at your pace, not somebody else's pace. Stop putting a time limit on success. The struggle is real. The struggle is what makes you thorough. The struggle is what makes you thorough. Um, you know, you know, you don't put uh, seeds in the ground and they just sprout up that fast without water. They don't sprout up without water. Okay. There's a lot of foolishness going on in the world. Some people blow up off of foolishness. What do you want? Fame or do you want to be financially stable? Uh, financially successful, that don't exist. Let's just say you got a few dollars more than the next. That's all. It's not financially successful. It just means you got some bread to play with. We all want some bread to play with. I do. But I'm not going to rush things and screw things up. Uh, I told y'all before and I'll say it again. Life is beautiful. <laughs> Yep, life is beautiful. Life is what you make it. You see these dudes running around here selling dope. Uh, doing illegal things to get that fast dollar bill. Everybody wants the dollar bill. But a lot of people want it so fast they end up doing foolish things trying to get it. Money comes from trees. They print money every day, all day. All day long, they print money. Yep, they print money every day, all day. Um, is it sad that everybody doesn't have money? Yes, because money comes from trees. Trees are out here. Eh, but it's the person that's printing the money, so it's their money. Money is the root to all evil. You know, I, listen, y'all. I remember back in the day when I had Buku bucks, right? That brings enemies. Well, how does that bring enemy? It brings hate. It brings hate. If you got it and you can help somebody, by all means, do it. I've been helping people my whole life. My whole life, I've been helping people. Whether it be feeding them, having cookouts, people come over, they eat, come over, have a place to hang out, a place to chill. Stuff like that, I've always, they need their cars where, y'all, I've done it all. There was a time when I sat and I said, when am I going to get back what I gave? Well, here's the thing. I stopped worrying about when I was going to get back what I gave out. Because it's not about getting back. I did that out of, out of the kindness of my heart. Out of the kindness of my heart. 
I truly did. I do have a good heart. Can I be cold sometime? Yes, absolutely. When you do me wrong, I can be cold. I can be cold, but I got a heart of gold, y'all. I love people. I love to live, laugh. Nothing feels better than just laughing and enjoying family in a good time. Absolutely. You know, separate yourself from people that think they're better than you. Because they're not. Separate yourself from people that think they're better than you. If you're around people that think they're better than you, then that's not the team or the group of folks you want to be around. Life is too short. It is, y'all. It flies, but life is too short. I remember when I was 15, 10 years old, y'all. I could tell y'all back things happened when I was seven. Seven. Seven years old. I can remember being seven. My life is like a movie. Like, I remember every little thing I've been through. I promise y'all that. I remember all of that. And the way I came up, I have nothing to complain about. I've had my fun as a youth. I'm still having fun. And I'm, I'm beyond a youth. Um, but my life coming up, it was, it was an experience. There was some good, there was some bad, there was some happy, there was some sad. But all of that is there to show and teach you you got to have the good and the bad days, y'all. You have to. You got to smile. You got to cry. You got to be happy. You got to be sad. It's just the way it is. No reason to be sitting around complaining. Once again, do not make somebody else's so-called success make you feel like you ain't doing nothing. Because let me tell you something. A lot of y'all look at social media and you think somebody is doing it big and they're really not. All it is is a video. All it is is a picture. But how how awesome, how nice, how caring, how, how good is that person inside? Remember that. You can walk around with the baddest stuff on all you want. That don't mean that you're better than somebody. You know, a lot of people be running around here, and I tell y'all this all the time. Everybody, be, I seen this dude jump out of this, um, which, listen, I told y'all I want to get this, this, this camper, all right, and there's things I want to do with this camper, I want to travel, but I seen this dude jump out of this truck, turned his music up, he do his little dance while he pumping gas, and I'm laughing like, okay, dude, you got a piece of metal with some shiny wheels on it. I used to do that back when I was young. That was a young thing. Riding around with rims, you know, um, loud, loud, uh, just, it's loud. When I say it's loud, everybody sees you. But anyway, this dude was doing his little celebration dance for, I guess, thinking he succeeded because he got a nice ride. And I said, wow, really, dude? Really? Look, that there is no reason to put your head down. Because you get out of this car, your belly flopped over your, um, your belt, your feet is busting out of your shoes, all right? You out of shape. That's your temple. You're supposed to take care of that. Take care of that temple. Y'all, you can get out of the. You can have the best jewelry. You can have all of that. But if you ain't healthy, what's the point? What is the point if you ain't healthy? Staying in shape and being healthy is the best feeling in the world. Feeling strong. You healthy inside and out. Eat the right things. You know, drink plenty of water and, well, as pure as it's ever going to be. I mean, we can't get around how pure it's ever going to be. 
you know, we ain't gonna talk about the water that people drink. And they go buying water. You know, back in the day, they used to drink water out of the sink, fill up water jugs and drink that. Now everybody afraid of sink water, they wanna go buy some water and thinking they getting magic water. That water that you buying ain't nothing but water filtered by somebody else's distribution center. That's it, and that's all that is. Look at your water bottles when you buy them next time and see where they distribute it from. Where the distribution center is. It's not magic water, people. It's just water. It's just filtered somewhere else. You pay a water bill, why wouldn't you drink your sink water? Just put a little filtration system on your sink water and you're good to go. But I just thought I'd drop them jewels on y'all. Stop worrying about what other people got. Because that'll make you feel, it just make you feel terrible. If you woke up, your eyes opened up in the morning and you took that breath. Y'all, that, oh my, there's no greater feeling than waking up. I got a lot of friends who's not here anymore. Um, the universe had better plans for them. That's right, the universe had better plans for them. But the universe got some plans for you as well. That's why you keep waking up. What those plans are, I don't know. I, I, I can't sit here and tell you I know what those plans are. But I know it's for the better. Everybody here has a job to do. Yep, we all got a job to do while we're here. I ain't talking about going to go punch somebody's old silly clock, getting some hours in and paying taxes because you went to work and they taxed you. No, not that kind. No, 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 no. Not that kind of job. We really have a job to do here, y'all. It's the reason why our souls keep marionetting these bodies around. Do some meditation. Sit and figure out what's going on in your life. And figure out what's in your life. And smile. And keep on moving. I, I will say this. I never said that this was supposed to be easy. But we can handle whatever, whatever is in front of us. You understand? We can handle whatever is in front of us. Absolutely. Love y'all. Stay blessed. Keep shining. Keep grinding. The struggle is real, but the struggle makes you stronger. You know what they say, without no without struggle, you don't get progress. I love to sit back and like, ooh, look, look what I did. This is what all them days of doing that did for me. I benefited from this, you know? So, another thing is there is a uh, police car unmarked behind me, right? He tailgating me, trying to make me go faster. And the minute I go faster, I done went over the speed limit. Like the speed limit is 35 mile an hour, dude. Why would you try to force me to speed up? Like really, that is just so wrong. Who does that? Why would you even do that? Who does that? Oh, that's disgusting. And you a police officer. Woo, something wrong with the world, y'all. Yes, it is. Love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay away from idiots on the highway. Trust me. Pull over if you got to. Don't race nobody.